What did you find out about your friend's sex life that actually shocked you? In high school a classmate of mine was bragging one day about losing his virginity to a lady in our community who happened to be the mother to a girl a grade above us. We all called bullshit and asked why head make something like that up cause not only is it not believable it just wasn't even a funny lie. Fast forward six months and fellow classmate has to to leave class on multiple occasions to go to court. Older lady was bragging to a co-worker about sleeping with said classmate and now older lady is a sex offender. I ducked your mom might be funny, but I fucked your kid is just downright illegal in it? Can you imagine if I ducked your kid jokes were as common as I fucked your mom jokes? Tut'd be wild. They'd probably be more effective. Friend wouldn't let me use his computer 20 years ago. He said he had things on there that would change how I thought about him. I stowed the thought aside. Twelve years or so later, married with a young daughter, they threw his ass in prison for having some insanely large amount of child porn on his computer. He was part of some huge child porn ring. Evidently really young girls. Shit, usually when people say that it's just furry hot pocket porn and whatnot. What the duck is a hot pocket in the context of porn edit, do not check my post history. Exactly what was typed. A regular hot pocket. Found out half of my friend group were regularly having foursomes together and rudely not inviting the rest of us. Did they end up extending that invite? Listen, I'm not packing no Louisville slugger down there or anything, but I can make a mean totter tot casserole I could bring to the festivities. Of all the things you could bring. A friend of mine thinks of me while having sex so they can keep going for much longer. How does that make you feel? Weird, flattered, indifferent. Mostly weird. I mean, we're both straight men. Go figure. He does that so he can delay orgasm. Or he does that to maintain erection. It's hilarious either way haha. The former. If it were the latter, it'd still be weird but somewhat flattering, not gonna lie. My friend had anal sex with her boyfriend for five years before having vaginal sex. She was too scared she would get pregnant. I have nothing against anal sex but it totally shocked the hell out of me. Five years? Jesus, I can barely last five minutes. That when house sitting for us he and his wife ducked in every room of our house and also on my motorcycle. Edit, since y'all want details. I found out a few months later when the bastard told me. His wife also mentioned it. The bike was a custom Harley with a wide, low seat. I'm pretty sure they bumped uglies on top while it was on the kickstand. I had a hard time enjoying the bike after that. I ended up selling it to our local city councilman. I didn't disclose the fucking. Someone's gotta do it. Ouch. My best friend in college got in a pretty kinky sexual relationship with this dude for a while. They do BDSM type stuff, none of which is particularly shocking to me, but I remember visiting her apartment and seeing a spoon out randomly in her room and asked why it was there. She said she loved the taste of his cum so much head jerk off onto the spoon and feed it to her while she was tied up. I didn't think Shed ever really shocked me but that one took the cake. Wait until they find out you can come directly into a person's mouth. Doing it onto a spoon seems inconvenient edit, guys it was a joke, I know they're most likely aware of the ability to put a penis into a mouth. Cum spoons and poop knives. What a time to be alive. Knife in the bathroom, spoon in the bedroom, can't wait to find out why some redditor has a fork in the rec room. A couple that I was friends with was into necrophilia play. He would make his wife take an ice cold shower, quickly dry off, and then she'd just lay there while he ducked her cold unmoving body, and they really liked it. With these kind of stories I always wonder how into it the partner really is, or if they just decided they love the other person enough to go eat it and are now pretending to enjoy the same thing. I mean it can't have come up during dating can it? I want to duck a dead body. Check please. Is the second person keen or horrified? Best friend in HS was casually seeing this dude who was a senior our sophomore year, well he graduated and dumped her. Next year his brother started HS, she proceeded to date him. Took both of their virginities. Achievement unlocked, Eskimo Brothers edit, yes, tunnel buddies, ibd, I get it. 
Blood Bond Bonus. That she had elaborate pirate roleplay sex. We were housemates in college and I heard way more than I bargained for. Also the guy she had elaborate pirate roleplay sex with smelled bad and wore those shoes with the separate toes. And wore those shoes with the separate toes on. Her fifty. Well, I found out he likes hosting gangbangs. He invited me to one, two. Update, I went, I mustn't talk about it. From what I hear gangbangs are a bunch of dudes beside each other jerking off except you get to slide in for two seconds. My roommate broke his bed one day after coming home with his girlfriend. Pretty ordinary so far, that happens although already quite funny. Then I remembered that I helped him build his bed up when we moved in. Dude's bed has two slatted frames. How the hell did they break that? Tell him to stop using chainsaws during sex, obviously. I ye old chainsaw massacre role play my parents warned me about. Sexist chainsaw massacre. My best friend never masturbated until I told him the experiences of the luxury, then he actually did it and he questioned his life. I mean that's pretty mind-blowing if you've never done it. This comment reminds me of that scene in The Dictator where Aladdin learns how to masturbate. Teach a man to use his hand as a vagahina. He posts himself and his girlfriend to Pornhub and Redensville. Are they popular? Like, if someone said the channel, would people be like oh damn? Wouldn't you like to know whether boy? Where are your parents? Kid sketchy. My wife had a female friend in high school that saved all the used condoms in a brown paper bag under her bed. And from what I heard, there were a lot of them. Can't that shit mold or go rotten? Ew. Anyone who's read the come box story is well aware that yes, yes it can. Edit, for those asking, no, I don't mean coconut, I mean box. Oh, thanks for reminding me of that. A former friend of mine used to wipe her husband's butt after he'd been to the bathroom. Initially she'd do his washing and he'd leave stains on his underwear, for her. I'm not sure, and that progressed to some humiliation and her checking him when he got home from work every day. She told me this when we were outside having a cigarette and I then had to sit across from them both for the longest game of Monopoly. I used to frequent Craigslist back before they banned anything even resembling a dating or hookup ad. I once placed an ad and got a response from a guy on my team at work asking if I wanted to duck his wife. As in bluntly asking hey buddy, you wanna fuck my wife? Your email address is stripped off when using their built-in email system but the name on your email account comes through. The response was in this guy's name, which is unique, and he included a picture of his wife who I have met. The pic didn't show her face but she has some visible tattoos so there is zero doubt it was her. So how was she? I never responded to the email or ever mentioned it to anyone though I did think it would have been funny. You actually get a surprising number of cuckold responses to ads, which isn't my thing, and the guy usually wants to watch. After several years I found out that one of my female friends wore a strap-on and ducked her husband up the butt almost every time they had sex. I don't remember how the topic even came up, but apparently that was just how he liked it and she was happy to oblige. He said that when he was 20 he did try it with another man but didn't really find any enjoyment in it because he likes playing with tits while getting plowed, so he only likes it when it's coming from a woman wearing a strap on. That he was having sex with my fiag. Was hanging out with my boyfriend and our friends, who are also a couple. We were having breakfast smoothies. They casually mention that they're going to an orgy in Brooklyn on Saturday and it's a really progressive orgy because all men need to be invited by a woman. I'm like wow, that's a really interesting system. Internally I'm like you guys go to orgies. Edit, I just want to say that you guys are losing it over the word progressive since apparently that's how all orgies are. This was like 6 months ago, in not quoting her adjective for adjective, that was just my takeaway about that rule she described to us, I've never been to a sex club alright. It's a really progressive orgy because all men need to be invited by a woman I'm surprised it's labeled progressive. It seems that the main problem with orgies is that there are way more men than women who want to go to one, so it makes sense that there would be some sort of system to make the gender ratios come out somewhat evenly. The swingers club that I'm thinking about attending has a single men must be accompanied by a couple rule. One night a week in certain special events they're allowed, but their cover is $40. 
The couples are $40 single women are $5. There is a huge gender ratio issue.